I have too many wallets. Endeavors, ignite depression, divide the desperate, your spine is severed, redeem the foolish, leave it crowded, confusion, grab the mic. <clears throat> so I'm going to show you guys my top three wallets, and they're three different categories at three different price ranges. So we have a minimalist wallet, a front pocket wallet, and a bifold wallet. So uh, let's get to it, and I will show you guys why I like these wallets so much and why I chose them as my top three wallets um, that a man can have. All right, so here are my top three men's wallets uh, that you can get on the market right now. We have the Nomad Slim Leather Wallet. We have the uh, Saddleback Leather Front Pocket ID Wallet. And then we have the uh, Pop-Off Leather uh, Six Card Bifold Wallet. Now, as you see here, I have a fascination with leather. And not just any type of leather, brown leather. And not just any type of brown leather, good quality brown leather. Um, all of the leathers that you see here um, are uh, sourced from the U.S., um, and all of these are hand-sewn in the U.S., so that's one thing I love about all these wallets. They're handmade, handcrafted in the U.S.A., uh, and that just makes um, that just makes the quality shoot up through the roof. Uh, you know, you're not getting processed Chinese junk, so uh, that's one thing to consider. So the wallet that I'm currently using, uh, since it's kind of getting back into summertime, I'm using the Nomad Slim Leather Wallet. This wallet is absolutely amazing. Um, if you are not a minimalist person and you carry receipts, cash, and a ton of stuff on you, this is not going to work. This is meant to hold four cards on the outside and uh, some cash on the inside, but I just have coupons. I never carry cash with me. That's why I don't find a bifold wallet useful, but... Um, this is the wallet that I'm currently using. Uh, it's made by Nomad, uh, and the uh, and the leather from it is Horween leather. Uh, I did a, a full review on this. Uh, I'll link it in the description. I go into way more detail uh, in that review, so check that out. Um, but this thing is just perfect. It's perfect for uh, this thing could fit into a business jacket. It could fit into the front pocket or back pocket uh, of your jeans. Uh, super slim. Uh, it's super good quality. Uh, the burnishing or the leather burnishing is really nice on this wallet. So, the sewing's really nice. It's not it's not double stitched or anything, um, but this thing hasn't fallen apart. And I've been carrying this thing. I've had this thing for about a year and a half, two years now. So it's held up pretty well on that regard. All right. So the next wallet is the Saddleback Front Pocket ID Wallet. This one's a little thicker, as you can see there. Let's see if it'll focus. A little bit bigger in size. So. This wallet is just overall bigger, um, and I think it's actually less expensive than the Nomad. This runs 60, I think this runs about 50, and this runs also 50 or 60. I'll link all the products in the description if you want to go check them out. Um, so what I love about this wallet is um, for how for how you know thin it is, it has um, it does have a lot of room. Uh, that's what I do love about it, and I love the patina that it's getting. I've only I only used this wallet for about uh, two or three weeks. And this is what came from it. Just this super nice patina all the way around the wallet. And it just looks super, super nice. And it's nice and soft and smooth now. Uh, when I first got the wallet, the leather was very ruggedy. And now it's just really nice and smooth. Um, and it definitely adapted to my card being in there, as you can see. You can see the outline of the card there. Uh, but it is saddleback leather. You can see that there. Um, yeah, so leather source from the U.S. Uh, I'll link a, um, a video in the description that Saddleback made on how they uh, source all their leather and make all their wallets, and it's a really cool video. Uh, so if you want to learn more about this company, I will link that video in the description. Um, and uh, they actually sent me this wallet for free. Um, Saddleback sent me this to do a review of it, and that's what I'm doing now. Uh, I think this is one of the best wallets you can buy. So it has this uh, this ID slot up here. Uh, if I can push it. And this just comes out like this. Uh, this is where your ID would usually go, but for privacy reasons, I'm not going to show my ID. Um, and then behind that, there's another spot for maybe coupons, for another card, for some cash, blah, blah, blah. In the middle spot here, I have some cash in there with another card. And then on the outside, there are two more cards, but it can fit way more. Uh, it's One thing I love about leather wallets is they adapt to what you shove in them. So if you put four cards in each slot, it's going to be tight but it will eventually stretch and adapt um, to whatever you're shoving in there. So um, don't take that wrong. But there you go. 
Here's a look at this wallet. Definitely, I think it's one of the best wallets you can get on the market right now. Uh, the leather is great quality, uh, the sewing is good quality, and this thing is just holding up really, really nice. So, Saddleback Leather did it again. All right, and the last wallet we are going to review is the Pop-Off 6-Card uh, Leather Wallet or uh, Bifold Wallet. Now, if you're more like the traditional man and you like the classic bifold design, this one's going to be the best for you. Um, Double-stitched, hand-sewn with tiger thread. Uh, or hand waxed tiger thread to be specific. Um, super good quality leather. And uh, how you tell if a leather is good, is you run your finger under it, and if it, you know, gets that cream color to it and starts to adapt to your finger, that is how you know it is supreme quality leather. So that's one thing I do test when I. Uh, uh, when I get my wallets uh, to test that they're real leather, is I do that test, the finger test, and that is just awesome. Um, so has six cards uh, or six card slots there, and let me show you guys the threading. Let me see if I can get a, a good focus here. So there's the uh, the uh, hand sewn, hand wax tiger thread. So really, really nice quality there. This thing is never going to fall apart on you. The burnishing on the outside. And this thing smells phenomenal. If you ever smelt a good quality a leather wallet, you'll know what I'm talking about. Um, this thing is patinaed very nice. As you see here, it's getting kind of that aged look, which I really, really like. And then there's a ton of spot. There's a big spot for cash in the back. So there's no worry about that. This thing is uh, obviously going to be bulky because um, the leather is just super, super thick. Uh, there's no denying that. Let me focus here. There we go. So... Just really, really nice. Um, all these are just supreme quality. Uh, if you're looking for good quality wallets and uh, you're looking for a slim wallet, front pocket ID wallet, or a bifold um, classic wallet, then these are what I would recommend. If you are into leather, I don't know what to recommend to you because leather is the best thing to get for wallets because they're going to last you a lifetime. And um, the reason I love wallets and you know leather wallets to be specific is because they all have a story. Um, each wallet. It has a different uh, look to it because it depends on the user's, uh, you know, on the user's wear on it and how hard they are on their wallets. And I consider myself pretty easy going on my wallets. I'm not super hard on them. So, um, yeah, pretty much all I got to say. I just wanted to show you guys all of these, uh, you know, awesome wallets here. And everything will be linked in the description if you want to go check it out. I'll see you guys in the next video. Zisbevid signing out. Peace.